You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to another fantastic episode of the Ask Drone You podcast. My name is Paul. My name is Rob, and we're grateful you're with us for this episode number 811. Jumping right into the 800s quickly. Seems like yesterday we were celebrating 800. Anyways. Thought that was a big deal. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Excited for 1,000. Yes. Anyways, have a good show for you today. I think this is going to benefit a lot of folks who are wondering about this issue. Should be an interesting one. If you are if you're having problems flying in a straight line, you just noticing you're getting a little tail wag, a little fishy fishy, a little yaw here, a little yaw there, a little yeah That you don't want. That you don't want. Well, we're going to talk about how maybe you can eliminate that. So today's question brought to you by our friends and family and the Drone You community. If you're not a part of that family, well, <laughs> you're missing out. Anyway, check it out. You got to join DroneU.Education. Why? 29 classes, right? Resources, documents. They're going to help you improve your workflow, your efficiency, have more fun, and make more money. Not only that, it's going to keep you motivated, inspired. You're going to have a whole lot of fun. Check it out, DroneU.Education. Hello, Paul and Rob. This is Jason from Illinois. I had a question today in regards to flight settings and controls. Current situation, I'm flying a Phantom 3 Pro and... I've been out practicing a lot more. The situation I have going on is when I'm trying to do a nice pan or a yaw, I feel like the controls are really strong and really touchy. Um, I really want some fluidness. I need to know if I need to dumb down the controls or just need more practice. I'm sure it is more practice. That never hurts. But if there's a way to kind of dumb the controls down a little bit so all my movements aren't as severe and choppy, I'd be really interested to see if you guys utilize that method at all. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, I think there are pilots all over the place that would love to get those settings just right for them. Everybody's thumbs are a little bit different, right? And True. different interpretation of how to use the controller. So definitely something that everybody who's going to be flying wants to understand how to kind of manipulate those, work it, manipulate it, work it till you get to the settings that you like. Yeah. So how do they do that? Well, uh, luckily we did a little screen recording that should be uh, on the YouTube version. So if you guys are watching at home, you can watch the YouTube version. I actually go through the menus of a Phantom 4 to show you where to go. Um, when you're in DJI Go, top right corner, those three little dots, boom, hit that. Then you want to make sure that you're in the first menu. So on the left side of the menu, you see those little icons, the drone, top left corner. You want to make sure we're clicked on that. Go to the very bottom, advanced settings, and you'll see three things. Sensitivity, gains, and expose. Expos are, it's like the sensitivity on the stick itself. Like what is the actual reaction time from the drone reacting to your finger reacting? You can slow this down. Um, I think traditionally they're set to 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0.4 in the uh, exponential settings. You can slow that down to 0.25 and 0.3 uh, respectively, but it's going to slow everything down when you slow those down. I would recommend... Rather, instead of playing with the exponential settings, which will kind of really affect all the flight movements, you'll notice, too, that it's like, oh, we're going to set the sensitivity to bottom right and, you know, throttle left. Like, you just got to understand that you can isolate more controls by going with the gains settings. So you may find that the exponential settings are not really what you want to change, that you really want to change just, yeah, like, I just want to, like, rotate less. Okay. Let's rotate less. Go into the gains settings. In the gains, you'll see pitch, roll, elevation, and yaw. Uh, and in my menus, you'll see that I have most of my gains racked up to like 110, 115. You'll also notice, though, because I recorded this video before the show, that I kept trying to input 75 as the power percentage. And you can't go that low. <laughs> And it took me a couple tries to figure that out. <laughs> so uh, you can go as low as 80%. I would recommend setting that to 80%. But also, I would also practice more. Practice your straight lines and try to just control the drone without using yaw at all. Like, take your finger off the stick 100%. I think that would really help out. I think it would also help out 
to practice your banking turns. These are all things that are in the DroneU Elite course, which those uh, branded DroneU courses are going out to those new DroneU training centers across the U.S. There are 10 of them. Very excited about that. And uh, you'll be able to practice those movements there because, look, you can practice so much, but sometimes you need, like, exercises or drills or things that have a specific purpose, keep your mind engaged, and help you focus on exactly what you're trying to practice, which we have a lot of those. Yeah, absolutely. But I, that's key because as we kind of let into the talk about the details with, you've got to practice with the different settings in order mm-hmm. to find the ones that fit you, True. right? So Paul said go to 80%. Try that and then practice with that, and you might find that that's too much. Yeah, and you can slow down the exponential settings, but um, you can. Uh, some drones, like with the Inspires, have three exponential settings: so the exponential settings for GPS mode, the exponential settings for sport mode, and the exponential settings for attitude mode. Make sure that you're setting the GPS ones, which is typically the first screen. And I would only move into exponential settings if you've practiced all week long for a month and you still can't fly in a straight line then slow down the exponential settings because you're going to slow everything down. Like you're going to go in full geriatric mode when you hit 0.25 on the exponential settings. So, And you're going to find that that's not very much fun. Yeah. And so you're probably going to go right back. Like when you're in beginner mode. (laughs) That's right. I mean, literally, that's what it is. I mean, if you look at the exponential settings in beginner mode, they're at 0.2 or 0.25. And are you really going to go that slow? Like as slow as you would the air was going? You would be shocked at how many people never even go past that point. Wow. That's amazing. Because they're just so afraid of losing the bird. They're so afraid of losing the money that they put, spent on that thing. Yeah. And, you know, I go back to Carl in the boat looking at this old uh, Air Force colonel being like, well, you really shouldn't be flying that if you can't afford to lose it. And just, it was just <laughs> like, a bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> knife yeah. in the wound. No, there's some... But it's true, but it was still a knife in the wound. But it was... Anyway. No, it is true. And there's some irony in that, in that you buy this beautiful machine to go do these amazing things, and yet you're too afraid to do the amazing things yeah. for fear of losing the beautiful machine. Then why even have it to begin with? Exactly. So, anyways... I could really go deep, like, fil- like I could go... I could start philosophizing, <laughs> well, but I'm going to refrain okay. from philosophizing. For now. All right. Yeah. Feel free. No, I'm good. I'm okay. good. I'm just thinking about the type of person it takes to buy a drone and, and not really fly it balls to the wall like you're supposed to. So mm. hmm, makes Maybe they think. just need a little time. Maybe a little balls to the wall session. I don't, maybe I don't just, know. Maybe it's just ball to the wall and then it becomes <laughs> balls to the wall. I was trying not to philosophize down this path. <laughs> but uh, you've taken me there, so okay. I must discuss now. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I, guys, I think that should really help a lot of you out. But um, if you haven't checked out the drills and exercises um, class in the DroneU community, really check that out because there are some really good exercises in there that will help you be a smoother pilot. So sure. on that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask DroneU. Ask DroneU.